I am standing behind the largest press at Drupa, the only large format press at Drupa, and the only large press running 18,000 seats an hour. Ma'am, would you help us start the press? Oh, that would be wonderful. Thank you so much. What we're going to show is our new live app. There is no one on the press whatsoever. And now, our good friend will start the press remotely via a smartphone. For the first time ever at Drupa, you will see 18,000 sheets an hour remotely. Jens and Henrik to please come up and continue the demonstration. Guys. So we were able to start the repeater 145 with KBA's live app feature. This allows for operation of the press from any tablet or phone. It will also give sheet count, sheet speed, energy consumption. Chris, maybe you can walk us through this exact configuration. Sure. We have a lot to talk about, so let's give a, an idea of what the press we have. We have a fully automatic non-stop feeder. We then have six printing units, a coding unit, and then we have a brand new extended delivery with double pile delivery. Chris, it's all about not having sequential operations, but simultaneous operations. So you'll be seeing multiple things taking place all at the same time. And one of my favorites, Chris, is Cleantronic Synchro. This allows us to clean the blanket cylinder with two wash-up beams. This reduces the make-ready time and also cleans the blanket better. So we're much more efficient. It also can move down and clean the impression cylinder if need be, so we can clean impression and blankets at the same time. You're also able to change cloth over while you are producing. So there's no need for stop production. All this, Eric, and we speak the press is producing at how fast behind us? 18,000 sheets an hour, Chris. And th this one feature is really a pressman's dream. Joe, it's quite obvious we have two deliveries here. So I'm going to invite uh, a colleague of ours, Mr. Sasha Fisher. Good morning, Sasha. How are Good you? Good morning, Chris. We do listen carefully to our customers. And one requirement demand was from packaging to have only good sheets in the pile because you avoid manual sorting of the pile, checking the file before you go into finishing. And what we have is pile number one is where defective sheets are collected, be it from ramp up, be it from non-stop, or if you run out of tolerance in Qualitronic color control. Pile number two is where the good sheets are. So you have a pure pile of only good sheets in there. What you see on the machine, and I think Chris and Eric have explained already, first, we have inline color control, clear. Second, we have inline high-res PDF at 300 dpi. And obviously there, you already have the requirement to read the full sheet. So what we have here as a world first, we have actually placed the color bar at the rear end of the sheet. So inline, we read the color bar, not at the front, but at the rear end of the sheet. Excellent. I know that color bar at the back edge is a, a big help for our packaging printers. Uh, so that's great news. Well, Sasha, thank you very much. Wir wechseln auch von nicht lackiert auf LED.